Hello everyone and welcome to Amy's Art Table. I am going to be teaching this beach landscape with you today. It's going to be super fun. So go ahead and grab your supplies and a comfy seat and we'll get started. guys so hopefully you have a comfy seat I'm going to be teaching this fun beach landscape today and so if you have purchased the digital download you will have received some awesome digital content that has an example of the art piece we're going to be working on which is the beach landscape and then you'll have this other fun detail um, digital printable that has all the different elements that we're going to be going over today as well as some of the colors that we'll be using. Um, now there are add-on options for this little art lesson so um, if you purchase from Etsy you can add on um, quality watercolor paper or you can use your own today. Um, you can also add on things like a paint set or brushes. So um, all that stuff would be shipped to your house. So I'm hoping that you are all set up and we'll get started here. So things that we're going to be focusing on today are um, ocean, clouds. We're going to do a really lovely... Um, almost cotton candy sky. I'm going to show you how to blend this out and make um, it very colorful and beautiful, but in a really simple way. Um, other things we're going to be working on are the sand and the ocean, um, adding just a little tinge of sunshine in this cloudy sky. And we're going to be working on blending. Okay, so Let's grab a piece of watercolor paper. I'm gonna set this off to the side. You'll probably want to have um, your printable handy too, just so that you have something to look at. I printed mine on regular copy paper, but of course it's going to um, show up a lot better if you use a higher quality paper. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, a medium to large brush and I'm going to work on the sky first and this is going to be a wet on wet watercolor so I'm going to look at uh, this original painting and notice that about half of it is sky and half of it is the ocean and sand um, so we'll start at the sky so we'll sort of think okay where is about the halfway mark and I just want to paint um, the top half with water. I'm going to keep this uh, kind of wet because we really want to get that lovely blendy sky. Now, um, as I'm painting this live, it may not look identical to this. I cannot do a complete replica. It will look similar. So, um, I just want to throw that out there. I'm painting live and talking to you right now, so colors might be slightly different, but you are going to get the idea of the technique and how I've done this. And I hope that you have an awesome time. Okay, so I have generously wetted the top half of my paper, and now comes the fun part. So I'm going to start thinking about colors that I want to find in my sky. Um, for me, that's going to be plenty of blues with a few tinges of a fuchsia color. I'm going to start dropping little blobs in, and these are going to be my clouds. Okay, so I love how this is blending. See how the wet on wet watercolor allows it to do that. So I'm going to do little cloud bunches. And little cloud bunches are me stomp, stomp, stomping on this wet watercolor with some color on my brush. You can rinse out your brush here and there if you need to. All right, so the placement of these clouds, I'm going to leave up to you. This is your painting. So we want a little bit of um, 
individualness on each one of these paintings. We don't want yours to have to look exactly like mine. If you want it to look like mine, that's totally cool. But if you are feeling like, hey, I want my sky to be all purples and pinks, cool. And you don't want blue, that's totally fine with me. You also might want to have a paper towel handy just in case um, that you have any spills or um, runs off your paper. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this really nice fuchsia color. And I'm going to go along the top of some of these clouds. Really want to get that beautiful a storm is coming through kind of um, look on this painting. Okay, so we want all these color explosions. Some people call this a cotton candy sky. Right. So where I live, it has just rained. So looking out my window right now, we have lots of fluffy clouds, which is so nice and inspirational. Hopefully you can look out your window and see some clouds too. You can see these different shapes. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a little bit of purple now. So again, really just blobbing this. This is kind of what makes that beautiful cotton candy sky. I am so thankful that you're here today and I'm thankful that you um, purchased this art lesson. I love to be able to connect with new people so I really hope that you enjoy this. All right now I'm going to go on to move to using a light color blue. I'm going to do some horizontal strokes. Places that these strokes might be would be in white space or in spaces that you would like to blend. So as you're using this light blue, you're going to be picking up colors that we've already placed and that is perfectly fine. Um, so this is going to pull our sky together here. I'm going to move some of this water. I have a little bit of extra water over here. And again, we want to leave some of the original dabbed clouds just so we get that sort of explosion of color. Um, but on the out, outer edges of this painting, I am going to just blend it with a real nice light blue. It's even getting like some purple in there, some pink. And there it is. The sky is almost complete. It's not quite complete because um, we're going to come back and add the sunshine in a bit. But for now, I'm going to leave that. And then we'll go ahead and dab a little bit. I haven't put, I haven't rinsed out my brush or put any more color on it, but I'm just going to dab just a little on some of this wet area towards the ocean area. All right, so now we've set up the sky. And we're going to need to go ahead and set up the ocean area. For this ocean, I used um, more of a turquoise kind of green, um, making a tropical sort of water here. I'm not going to do wet on wet watercolor this time, and I'm going to go right up to the edge, but I'm not going to touch what I've already done. I'm going to leave one little strip of white here on the paper. Now this would be our horizon line. So again, using a nice little turquoise on the brush here, going all the way across, but again, leaving a little bit of white between the clouds and the ocean. This is looking pretty good. I like that. Okay. So I like this turquoise color going to do something going to add a bit more turquoise bring this ocean down a little 
And this is another fun horizontal part here. Okay, so using some turquoise with a little bit of water, just kind of going back and forth, long strokes. Um, it is okay if there is some white space. That's actually good. We wanna leave a little white space here and there. And we wanna kind of just make these nice long horizontal strokes until we get to where we want our sand to start. Now rinsing out the brush and choosing a sand color. So I'm going to choose a light tannish brown color here, like a golden tan. I'm gonna dip it in the color and then dip it right in some water just to dilute it a little. And I'm just gonna start adding to where the ocean stopped. Here we go, back and forth, same thing. Adding more water if you would like to lighten it up. Adding more pigment if you want it to be a bit darker. Leaving some white spots. All right, so I like liking this setup. I also like how this is a little bit darker towards the horizon line. Um, you can go back and darken yours just a touch if you would like. Um, the next thing I would like to add, and this is going to be sort of funny, but is some white. So I'm going to get some white watercolor, and I'm going to go over all of this um, ocean and sand. And this is just going to sort of blend, blend a little, and it's also going to add a little bit of depth into our ocean. Uh, we can even add just a touch of the same light colored blue that we used up here. So yeah, just a little touch of that. I'm gonna break up this ocean a little bit because oceans are more than one color, especially when it's stormy and that water is really moving. All right, so sort of filling this in a little, some white. Just wanna break this up. Some white, some light blue, kind of going back and forth until I'm figuring out something that I like to look at. And I like how this is blended. All right, now same with the sand. I'm going to start adding just a bit of white here and there. As you add the white, you know, the tan and the previous turquoise will start to blend in as well. I never use a ton, ton of water on my brush unless I'm doing a blending like this. So just keeping that brush damp, but not like sopping wet and not, um, and not a ton of color either. All right, so this is just smoothing it out, making it look a little more like sand. Really hope that you enjoy this lesson because I love to paint this particular landscape of beach because we live at the beach and it is so beautiful. Every time I go there, it looks different, which is really just so amazing. Going to add um, just a touch more of turquoise. And add these little darker spots here and there. All right, so when you feel that you like the way your ocean and sand look, that is the time to stop. Sometimes we think we can just keep going and going and it'll get better and better, but it doesn't always. Sometimes it's just, okay, it looks good, let's stop. And that's, I think, about where we are now. Um, so the final steps here, I'm going to choose a bright yellow for my sunshine. This is gonna be a sunshine that's poking through these clouds. I'm gonna work with this while it's still a little wet. Um, because I want to get that blending. 
So I'm going to choose a spot for my sun. Um, for me, that's going to be right about here. And I'm just going to dab in some sunshine. Now this is going to be um, like the clouds are in front of the sun. We can't see all of it. Um, almost like a silver lining kind of thing here. So a few dabs. And then once again, going to take a blue. Um, it can be the same blue that you originally used or maybe even a slightly darker one. I'm just going to add a little bit more dimension here. There's some blue. And that's also creating this darker, um, almost gray color. So in the paintings, um, we like to create some contrast. So we like to have light colors and we like to have dark colors. Wherever it's still really wet, you're gonna get a lot of blending. So I'm getting a lot of blending in there. All right, I am liking this. Add, I like the blue, so I'm gonna add some more blue here. And you can add some layers so that there's clouds in front and behind. And again, just like the beach, it's up to you. If you feel like it's done, you don't want to overdo it. You add as much as you want. Mine is coming right along here. Let's see, even some gray might be nice. I didn't add too much gray in the other painting. Um, I used same colors, color scheme, but um, we got a little bit more blending here. So this painting ultimately will turn out looking different, but I really like it. And you can just kind of play with the water and the color that's already there. I'm just using some paint strokes. Um, another thing that we can try is you can um, do some strokes going out this way, which will give you that um, idea of rays of sunshine coming through the clouds. So you're almost making the mind just think, oh yeah, the light has changed and it's coming through. You don't want to make it too obvious, but something like that. So I just pulled out some of the water and it sort of gives your mind that idea. And then on the edges, you can still have the clouds. And that's not a necessary technique, but it's just something fun that I like to do and try to practice. All right, guys, so I'm liking how this has turned out. You can add some far away little bits over here. All optional. You could even add some tiny, tiny birds. Okay. up to you how um, spotted and cloudy you want to make it. Again, if you add just a bit more water, it's going to get more blendy. If you add more pigment, it's going to start coming together more. And as it's drawing, you can change it slightly if you want to. All right, so I'm liking how this is looking. So that's pretty much it for the beach landscape. I hope that you enjoyed this today and I'm hoping that when it dries, we will have something really awesome. 
If you had a little trouble on this lesson, give it another try. Um, every video and every lesson that I do, I have to paint at least three or four times just to get the concept. And so while we're learning, that is totally fine. That is the point of learning. Um, and hopefully you see all these elements. We went over blends. Um, this is definitely a peaceful painting. I love the turquoise, the sand. It really makes me think of a tranquil vacation. Um, we definitely did some pinks and fuchsia colors today and turquoises. We did lots of blending. And we went over sand, clouds, and ocean, and sunshine. So I hope you had an awesome lesson, and I hope that you will join me for some more lessons, and I will see you next time. Have an awesome day.